Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created this natural everyday makeup look. This is something that I'd choose to wear if say I was going to work in makeup, if I have friends and family over or if I was going out to the shops and I didn't want to do full glam. So if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look, just keep watching. Film on this video, I moisturised my face with the Soap and Glory Body Milk. Something you should probably know is I have got acne prone skin, which is combination so I get very oily around my T-zone, meaning where my spots are also get very dry. So because I get very dry skin, what I like to do is before putting on my makeup is using the Soap and Glory Super Hydrating Moisture Mist. So all I'll do is I'll spray this all over my face and I'll let that soak in until it dries. So because this process takes some time, all I've done is I've just sped up the video so you don't have to sit through and watch it all. So the next step is primer. There's two that I like to use. One is the Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Instant Fix Mask. And the other one is the Soap and Glory's Bee Plump All Day Super Moisture Marvel by Soap and Glory. It was Soap to those nails who inspired me to buy this so I'll link her channel down below. What I like about this is once it's on my face it makes my skin feel very tacky which allows my foundation and base to stick to it very well. So all I do to apply this is I apply some on both cheeks, on my forehead, down the middle of my nose and on my chin and then I'll just rub this all in and leave it for a second to dry. <laughs> The next thing for me to do is obviously colour correct them spots so what I like to use is the Collection Long Lasting Perfection Concealer in the colour Green 2 so all I'll do is I'll wipe a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then I'll take my finger and all I'll do is I'll dab it on top of my spot and then I'll just use my finger again to blend that all of that in. <laughs> So I apologise that I keep looking down but underneath my camera is where my mirror is so I have to keep looking at that for reference to make sure everything's blended in properly and that I've got all of my makeup in the correct spaces. You'll notice I'll do this quite a lot through my videos so just bear with me as I'm trying to get used to looking at while doing my makeup. So the next stage of my makeup routine of is to put on my base layer. So the foundation that I'm using today and what I use most days is the Revlon Colour Stay Makeup Foundation which is for combination and oily skin. The shade is in the shade 110 Ivory. When I blend it out you'll notice I am a very pale girl so I like to use plenty of bronzer to put some colour back into my skin. Now all I'll do is I'll use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'll just bend all of this in and again I've just sped up the video for you so you don't have to watch the whole process. So once my base is fully blended out I then like to set my face and the reason I do this is because I do get super oily in my t-zone so my foundation will just slide off if I don't do this step. So the powder I'm using in this video is the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder and it's just in the colour 001 transparent so all I'll do is I'll take this on my brush tap it off and then I'll just pat this all over my face Once I've put all the powder on the base of my face I then like to do my brows so to do this I'm using the Makeup Revolution London Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown so what you'll notice in this video I'll do one eyebrow on camera and then I'm going to do the other one off camera I apologise for the filming of this part of the video I really could not do this looking up so I did look down at my mirror but for next time I will make sure I have a handheld mirror with me so that I can film this at a better angle so when filling in my brows, which you can't currently see me doing right now, what I like to do is I draw the bottom line in and then I'll draw in my line over the top to create the shape and then once I've got the shape that I'd like, I do fill them in. Now I regularly tint my brows so it does make filling my eyebrows in much easier and much quicker so I would highly recommend if you're someone who does struggle to do your eyebrows on a daily basis. So 
So now that both of my eyebrows done, the next stage is to bronze my face, and to do this I'm using the Ultra Sculpt Contour Kit in Ultra Fair C01 by Makeup Revolution. Now when going to work I don't contour my face, I just bronze it up so I'm not looking too pale, and the brush I'm using to do this is the Real Techniques Sculpt Brush. When doing this all I'll do is I'll tap my brush into the powder and then I'll tap it off a little bit with me being pale I do sometimes struggle to find powders that are an okay colour for me and then I'll start on my cheekbones just bronzing them up lightly I'll go around my forehead and under my chin and so because again this could be a bit of a lengthy process all I'm going to do is speed up the video to skip through onto the next step up and not looking like a friendly ghost anymore. The next thing I'm going to do is highlight and to do this I'm using another Makeup Revolution product which is the Ultra Pro Glow palette. Now I really like this one because it's got different shades so it will suit everyone and the shade I'm going to use today is the pink shade which is the third one along from the top. The brush I'm going to use this is my Bare Minerals Sculpt and Highlighting brush. I really like this because it picks up a lot of product as it's nice and dense giving me that super bright glow nice and easy nice and quick. super girly glow going on. What we're going to do next is we're going to do our eyeshadow. So the palette I'm using today is the Revlon Eyes, Cheeks and Lips palette which I got for free once I'd bought three Revlon lips, liquid lipsticks. So the first colour I'm going to use is the lighter brown and I'm going to put this into my crease and blend that out as a nice transition shade. taking a clean blending brush and I'm just blending out those edges to make sure they're nice and smooth and there's no harsh lines. Once I've managed to blend out all the edges all I'm going to do is take that same shade again and I'm just going to build that up in my inner corner and my crease to darken all my crease area up. <laughs> So now you'll see that I'm just taking a bit of time so I can blend out all the edges and make sure it all looks nice and smooth and everything transitions through nicely. So the next thing for me to do is to use a flat brush and all I'm going to do is spray this with my fixing spray to allow more pigment when picking up the eyeshadow colours and then I'm going to use the top two shimmer shades from the same Revlon palette and I'm just going to pack that onto my eyelids nicely. Once the first eye is complete I'm just going to go and do the other eye off camera to save us a little bit of time. So now that both eyes are completely done, I'm going to take my favourite mascara at the minute, which is the Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. Now, I like this mascara as it's very pigmented and it puts a lot of colour and volume into my eyelashes. Now, I personally think I've been quite lucky with my eyelashes as they are naturally quite long. However, I don't have too many of them because I have a habit of picking at them and pulling them all out. step is to make my look last all day so to do this I'm using another Makeup Revolution product which is the Pro Fix Feel Control Fixing Spray and I'm just going to spray this all across my face 
let it dry out and then that is my makeup look complete. So you'll notice I haven't put a lipstick on or any form of liquid lipstick that dries down matte and this is because with the winter just coming over my lips are still preparing from the cold weather. If you guys have any ideas on videos you'd like to see in the future, do leave a comment down below telling me what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see a video on my full morning routine, what I do before I get in the shower, what I use products wise in the shower to look after my skin, leave a comment down below. Feel free to share this video on any of your social medias and tag me in them at itsjustjessie18 on Instagram and Twitter. If you'd like to see my face again, click that little subscribe button down below it's free if you want to click the notification bell it'll remind you every time i upload i currently upload on sundays and wednesdays but in the next couple of weeks i will be looking to change that schedule so i'll upload on a monday wednesday and friday thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye